。上次就同大家快閃睇咗 List 市中心，咁究竟 List 嘅市中心附近又有啲乜嘢好嘅住宅區呢？今次就由市中心搭咗二十分鐘巴士去到 List 嘅傳統富人區 h o s p o r t 睇下 Taylor w i m p y 嘅全新屋苑。搭咗大概廿零分鐘巴士啦，咁就嚟到 Hotspot 嘅 High Street。咁呢條 High Street 咧，雖然佢唔係好長，又火車站一路行到落街尾，應該大概廿零分鐘左右啦。咁但係咧，沿途咧佢就會有啲幾靚、幾有特色嘅誒，譬如有啲 vegan 嘅 cafe 啦，有好多都係用 local produce 整嘅誒，即係 cafe and restaurant 啦。咁會有啲陶瓷店啦，會有啲精品店啦，咁會有啲 boutique store 啦，跟住賣植物啊、花圃啊咁樣。咁佢除咗應有盡有之外咧，佢就比較有自己嘅 character。咁你沿路行落去咧，見到拍嗰啲車咧，都有好多可能係 BMW 啊，有啲呢度有好多人揸，譬如 Range Rover 啊嗰啲。咁感覺上咧，佢除咗好安全之外咧，亦都係一個幾 wealthy 嘅一個區域嚟嘅。其實喺 Hotspot 裏面咧，就、呃、沿路咧，其實都係一啲、呃、你見到咧，真係好 Yorkshire 感覺啲、呃、石磚起嘅屋咁但係出面咧，好多都會係已經係做曬啲 gardening 啊，咁所以、呃、街道上面感覺好企理啦，咁亦都誒幾、呃、舒服幾靚仔。咁無意中咧，俾我哋發現咗咧，有間 Hong Kong Super Cook 就煮呢個廣東菜同泰國菜嘅。咁我頭先咧就喺市中心咧就搭咗十九號嘅巴士，咁就大概廿分鐘左右嘅車程咧，咁就嚟到呢一個 West Park Ring Road 嘅呢個巴士站。咁呢度啲巴士咧都算 OK 嘅，二十分鐘左右一班。咁十九號或者十九 A 咧都搭到過嚟嘅，咁所以就變咗嗰班次就密少少。咁喺呢度行大概九分鐘步程咧，咁就可以去到 Woodside Vale 呢個屋苑啦。咁一入到嚟屋苑咧，就會有條 private road， 咁側邊會有啲 landscape 先入到啲 houses 嘅。咁所以咧，佢嗰個即係 privacy 咧就會相對好啲，同埋好似即係自成一角嘅一個屋苑咁樣。咁喺屋苑隔離咧，亦都有另外一個 business park 啦。咁呢邊咧就會多一啲咧係 property 相關嘅公司，咁或者都見到咧有啲係 NHS 嘅 office 咧就擺咗喺呢度嘅。Hello， 大家好。咁我哋今日嚟到 Leeds 咧，一個叫 h o s p o r t 嘅 area 啦。咁就睇一個 Taylor w i m p y 全新全新啱啱 release 嘅一個新嘅屋苑。咁我哋今日都好開心咧，請到佢哋嘅 sales director Ross 咧，就同我哋一齊嚟呢度咧，就睇一睇個 area 啦。咁同埋講一講個 size 啦。咁所以我都會問一問佢咧，有關於呢個 area 係點樣嘅。咁啊 ，Ross，thank you very much for coming here to this site with us。No problem. You're welcome. Yeah. Um, so, can I ask you a little bit? Like, this is a newly released scheme, right? So, yeah. why would Taylor Wimpy choose this area to launch? Yeah, well, this is one of our flagship developments in okay. Horsforth. Um, so, Horsforth is in North Leeds, very prestigious part of Leeds. Mm. Um, North Leeds, in particular, very sought after. It's a um, kind of more leafy part of Leeds. Mm. Um, excellent schools. There's lots of little shops and restaurants and bars and really good schools. There's lots of parks. There's Round Hay Park in particular. Mm. Um, and then we're, we're in the Golden Triangle of, uh, of North Leeds. So near Weatherby, Harrogate and North Leeds in particular. Very desirable place uh, mm. for people to live. So when this came available as a development opportunity, Taylor Wimper really keen because we know there's going to be a lot of demand for people to live here. Ah, so for uh, most of residents in this area, would they be more like owner occupiers or some of them will be renters? Yeah, we'd expect the majority to be owner occupiers. Mm. Um, we're building a mixture of three and four bed homes. We, we will have some two bedroom houses later on in the scheme, uh, which may attract the first time buyer, mm. some investors, but the majority we expect will be owner occupiers, ah, families. Right. Um, Really for the schools and the kind of the parks and the local area, really, um, as well as some really um, young professionals mm. um, that have got good jobs that want to live in a great part of Leeds. So probably a real mixture, but most now would anticipate some owner occupiers. Oh, so young family, young professional, probably will yeah. be gathered in this area. For yeah, the yeah. It, there's a lot of high-paying um, jobs in Leeds and, mm. and in North Leeds and Harrogate, Weatherby, um, as well as successful business people that mm. own their own businesses. So expect there'll be a, quite a, a diverse mix of people that will live here. Right. So I, we understand this is a, still a very early stage of the whole scheme. Yes. So how many uh, plots are in total? Uh, so I think there's 399 in total here. Okay. So it's um, it's 
quite a big scheme. Um, we're just in the early stages now, so we launched this for sale about four weeks ago. Okay. Uh, we're just building the show homes now and the sales ah, office. Right, right, um, right. So we'll be opening officially on site in October, end of October time. So uh, when will we uh, expect the first completion and when will we expect the whole site to, to finish? Uh, good question. The first completions will tie in really with the show homes. Mm. So it'll probably be November, December this ah, year. End of this year. Yeah, yeah. So we'll have our first people moving in for Christmas okay. um, this year. And then the site itself will probably take about four years maybe five mm. years or so to build and, and complete um, mm. this particular one has got the main access here which mm. drives through a lovely kind of tree and yeah, wood area it's like a private access yes. into uh, uh, its own community it is yes yeah, mm. we just we kind of feel like it's an oasis you drive in and it's mm. just surrounded by trees and mm. it could be anywhere um, so it's such a fantastic site and then we'll be building up towards the top mm. where it'll link through another access as well Right, okay. So uh, we can say this is almost like the first uh, phase of release, which the price will probably um, be the, you know, the, the, the best price yeah. um, against uh, the later phases, right? I would expect so, yeah. I can never make any promises with prices, but <laughs> I certainly expect that the initial release, they're only probably going to go one way. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right, so this is very good timing for us to really look into um, this game. So hopefully when the show home is ready, we can also come back for, you know, more videos. Yeah, sure, yeah. Yeah. yeah, welcome back um, when we launch it. You come to the event if you like. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, so we, we do expect, uh, or we do welcome some of the Hong Kong clients um, to become residents in this community. Definitely, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. So this is one of the uh, detached four bed uh, layout. Yeah, this particular house type is called four, um, mm. and it's a four bed detached home. Yeah, okay. So um, we have ground on ground floor, is that like a garage area? Yeah, the back of the garage, um, and at the back there's um, like a utility area as well. Mm. At the back. So it's kind of multi-purpose, and then there's a door that links through then to the house. Ah, the so I can access directly from yes. my uh, garage into yes. my house. That's right, yeah. Ah, okay. Uh, the house types for side have been, uh, the elevation is slightly different, so you'll notice the big windows to let all the light get through. Ah. Uh, so that's kind of like a, a specific design that we do here. Now, because it's too late, so we haven't been ready for the show home. Now, we can see that there are four detached four-bank houses, the frame and structure are already in there. So we can go inside and see how the layout is going to be. Is it possible we can have a sneak in yeah, yeah, yeah. of the house? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. Mm. And then we've got the, the pocket doors, so they're great. You can either have them open to have the open plan live in or ah, close them. So it's like a sliding separate. like yeah. a sliding door? Yeah. Um, and then we've got the run of kitchen units. And then you see there, when I was talking about the garage, you've got the utility at the back here with the door that comes through into the kitchen diner and then into the living. And then we've got the cloakroom here. Ah. Okay, so you sort of have like a separate compartment for kitchen, dining and living, but at the same time you can have them connected. Yes, and, and this particular house type we will have a show home of as well. So uh, where we are standing here would be probably, I think, the kitchen dining area? Uh, this is the living. Ah, yeah, this, is this is the living room. room. Yeah. Okay, right, right, right. This is where the pocket doors go. Mm. Open, open, close. Um, and then this is then through to the kitchen diner. So you can see all the uh, wiring and the uh, gas for the there. So it'll be an L-shaped um, L-shaped kitchen, probably. It, yeah, it runs, runs down here to here, mm. and then this is where the kind of dining table would go. And then mm. the That's nice. And then through here, so you've got the French doors. So we've got a, um, a, a two-tiered garden here with the um, I think it's called the Mappy Ferry Wall. Mm. So a lot of people are, are looking at having the ground area here where you'd have like the barbecues and outdoor seating mm. and then up the steps then to kind of the garden at the top. Yeah, you can do some little gardening on top yeah. and then you can also separate the two areas. Yeah. Which is nice. Yeah. Uh, and then through here, so this is the uh, downstairs club room. Ah, okay. And then through here is into the garage where we've got the run of utility. Mm units and then there's also a garage separate door uh, outside as well. That leads to the garden? Yeah. Right, okay. Okay. So one of the bedrooms here. Just getting a bit of plaster. Okay, so this is one of the bedrooms. Large window 
Oh, so this one will be a shower. Actually. Yeah. But it's good because you have a window for, for yeah. this bathroom. I can't wait to see the show home. Yeah, it'll be really good. Yeah, it would be really good. So this is where the cylinder will go. Um, and a bit of storage as well to the side of where the cylinder is. Mm, the boiler, so the boiler room. And this and that, people mm. would keep in there. Okay. Uh, the main back room. Mm. So again, we have the bath and then the shower over the back here. Mm. The okay. toilet. Again, you have a window. Yeah. For that one. See here with the light. So the kind mm. of almost floor to ceiling window. Let's yeah. It's good because you have, um, in the hallway, you also have natural lights coming in. Yeah. Which some of the house types, usually, they don't. No, this is like a real selling feature, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. indeed, indeed. So, and you got corner corner windows. Yeah, so two different windows here. I like this one. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So, all good size bedrooms. I think so. I think they would all fit um, double beds. Looks like it. Yeah. So Ross, I understand in some of the schemes, usually the, the clients might need to pay some extra for the upgrade, for the specifications yes. upgrades. What about this scheme? So this scheme and Stonebrook are, are classes are flagship developments. Mm. So uh, we have the different branding on here, so it's more of a purple brand. Mm. So as part of that, we anticipated our, our client to uh, be a slight different customer base mm. um, and uh, the price and the, the areas that we're building in. So the specification here is, in, is enhanced. Oh, so okay. um, we include an, an upgrade kitchen, which includes the appliances such okay. as the fridge freezer, dishwasher. Mm. Um, we also include shower over the bath as well. Mm. Um, and then uh, the window elevation treatment is, is more of a grey colour rather than white mm. uh, and there's an outdoor rear light as well so a few uh, differences in spec. Ah, so uh, some of the bits and pieces are already upgraded so they yes. don't have to pay extra for That's the right. one. Yeah. So comparing to like other schemes, usually how much would they have to pay for, um, you know, for like a three or four bed? Um, those I upgrades? would say circa £8,000. Mm, for like, like kitchen like and bathroom upgrades? Yeah, for all those upgrades, yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. So it's all included in the price it, in this scheme? It is, yeah. That's great, right, that's great. Yeah. Right. Thank you. 呢个喺 Hotsoft 嘅 Taylor Wimpy 屋苑，而家香港都有得买啦。有興趣嘅朋友记得即刻登记我哋嘅展销会，或者预约一对一咨询，了解更多啦。